Hi, HFA Recap here. Today I'm going to recap a 2013 romance drama movie name, Blue is the Warmest Color. Always if you want to watch the movie for free then the link is in the description complete the easy task or watch the guaranteed movie. So let's begin. Adele, a young school student, leaves home for school. At the movie's beginning, their teacher teaches them literature and after the class she sits with her exposed friends. One of them, Amelie, tells her she sees one of their classmates, Thomas, looking at her and she suspects that Thomas is in love with her. Adele denies this, but she also expresses she likes him. After school, she goes home and shares a silent dinner with her family. The following day on the bus, Thomas comes to sit with her. He talks to her and asks about the book she is reading. She tells him about the book and he says he isn't a fan of books and prefers music. Before leaving that day they plan to meet at the pack on a date. She goes to the park as they had planned. While walking she sees a pretty lady with blue hair along with another lady. She looks at this lady and she falls in love immediately. She looks at this lady and as they walk past each other the lady looks at him too. She goes to meet Thomas who tells her he has started reading the book she was reading. They go to the cinema where they hold hands and kiss. Always if you want to watch the movie for free then the link is in the description complete the easy task or watch the guaranteed movie. She returns home to sleep but she keeps dreaming about the lady with blue hair touching her. She touches herself and can't get a good night's rest. She gets to school with a swollen face and Amelie accuses her of spending the night with Thomas. She denies the accusation and goes inside without speaking with Thomas who later goes to her to ask if he has done anything wrong. He asks if he was too fast and tells her it's because he loves her. He tries to kiss her and they continue in bed. She has intercourse with Thomas. But she feels something is missing in her life. She meets with her best friend Valentine, an open gay and tells him about this and she decides to break up with Thomas. She shares this news with Thomas and apologizes for leading him on. She returns to school and after one of her classes she sits with her female friend Beatrice. Another girl, Alice walks beside them and Beatrice comments that Alice is cute and she has a nice ass. Adele asks to know if Beatrice is checking Alice out and Beatrice says Alice is her type of girl. She also comments that Adele is cute and kisses her. Adele's day is made and she is so excited that her parents notice it. The following day at school she meets Beatrice. She kisses her again but Beatrice tells her she doesn't think she will take the last day's gesture as important as she was only joking which happened at the spur of the moment. She walks out and meets Valentin. She tells him they should go out and he takes her to a gay bar. She leaves the gay bar. And walks over to a lesbian bar where she cites the lady with blue hair. The lady comes to sit with her and offers her a drink. They talk and she introduces herself as Emma, a fourth year fine arts student. They talk about art and English but some girls come there to disturb them and call Emma. Before leaving, Emma asks her the name of her high school. That night she sleeps fulfilling and she goes to school the following day and she sees Emma waiting for her. She meets Emma who tells her she was passing by and just came to say hi. They leave together and stop at a park to talk. Emma draws her, takes her number and pecks her before leaving. As she returns home, she gets Emma's call. The next day of school Amelie asks her about the lady with blue hair and asks where she met her. She lies that it's in a cafe but Amelie asks if it's at a gay bar. She tells her. Valentine tells her he went to the gay bar with her and they ask her why she will go to such a gathering. Amelie also says she thinks Emma is gay. She denies going to a gay bar, but unfortunately Valentine admits they went together. Her friends ask her why she lies, saying she only went for a drink. They accuse her of being a lesbian. One of them even says that she doesn't care, but the fact that Adele has slept on her bed naked makes her worried. She insists she isn't gay and one of them verbally makes the signs of licking, which gets Adele angry and she physically assaults them. Valentine comes to calm her down and tells her to accept herself. She continues being friends with Emma who takes her to their art gallery and they look at some pieces of art together. They stay by a lawn to learn more about each other and eat. They talk about their sexual preference and their sexual history before sharing a kiss for the first time. From the kiss, they move to bed where they have their first intercourse for the first time. Adele feels good about sex. She goes for a lesbian picnic where they see several couples sing and kiss and they also share their first public display of affection. As they leave the picnic, they go to a park where they kiss again. Emma invites Adele home and her mother and stepfather Vincent, accept Adele into their family with open hands. She holds a flower on her visit and they are more appreciative. That night the couple had intercourse again. Adele returns home and she doesn't meet anyone in their living room. She goes outside to the lawn where she meets her parents and friends wishing her a happy birthday. She parties and dances with them as she celebrates her birthday and she also invites Emma to her home. 
she introduces Emma to her parent as her philosophy tutor as she fears that her conservative and working class parents won't accept her sexual choice. After the much silent and awkward dinner, she goes to the room where she has intercourse with Emma. After their act, she asks her how good she is and Emma replies, she is about 14 and she has a lot to learn about how to make things more enjoyable. She promises to do her best before they sleep that evening. The following day, she sits naked in front of Emma, who makes her a nude portrait. She has started teaching literature at an elementary school. During the school break, one of her colleagues asks her to join them at an evening party, but she says she has a family dinner. Concerned, the guy asks her if she has been avoiding them as she always gives excuses whenever they make plans with her. She replies otherwise and tells him it's just bad timing. She goes home to help prepare Emma's house party to get her people closer to her art. During the party, Emma introduces her to her pregnancy friend Lisa and another guy. Joachim also walks into the conversation. Joachim comments that Adele seems fulfilled in the portrait of her he has seen with Emma. Emma tells Joachim that Adele writes and Joachim asks to see her books and reads them. But Adele tells him she didn't make writing a career. She spends the best time at the party with another guest, Samir, an aspiring actor who makes her feel comfortable as they talk about sexuality and sexual choice as well as American life. Emma, on the other hand, spends the best part of the party with Lisa. They return home after the party and Adele cleans up the house while she dresses up. She tells Emma that her friends are classy and intelligent, but Emma doesn't reply. She undresses and goes to Emma, who tells her she made a good impact on Joachim and that Joachim owns the biggest gallery in the state. Emma tells Adele to make writing a career. She tells her she thinks she isn't happy with teaching, but Adele says she is happy with her life and she is fulfilled while with Emma and she doesn't want to write. She tries to touch Emma so they can have sex. But Emma tells her she is on her period. She returns to school the following day and as she returns at night she meets a voicemail from Emma. Emma tells her she is spending the night at Lisa's home as she needs to work on her artwork with Lisa. Adele leaves home to meet her colleague who has been trying to talk to her at a club. While they dance, they kiss and touch each other. She returns home to Emma who is disturbed about her work. One night her colleague brings her back home but to the wrong address. Emma, who is already home sees her and asks her who brought her. She lies that it's a lady but Emma refuses to believe Adele's tears give her out and Emma starts imagining that she is cheating. Emma asks her about it but she denies it so Emma says she should leave as she doesn't want a liar at her house. The Dell confesses to cheating but says it's because she was alone and unhappy. Emma refuses her excuses and breaks up. With her, Adele continues her life as an elementary school teacher, unfulfilled. She meets with Emma at a bar about three years later and they talk about life since they have left each other. She tells Emma she is alone, although she has had some flings. She asks if Emma is still with Lise and Emma replies affirmatively saying that she loves Lise and finds herself in love with Odd, Lise's, three-years-old child. Adele asks about her sexual life with Liz and she admits that it's not like when she was with Adele. They both express that they miss each other and they start touching each other, but Emma stops the touch. She tells Adele that she no longer loves her and loves Lise however, she will always have infinite tenderness towards her. In tears, they share their goodbye. Adele continues with work and she goes to Emma's first art exhibition. She wears a cloth of color blue and she meets one of her ward's family who comments on her great skills as a teacher. She speaks with Emma who eventually gets busy with her guest and she has to walk around alone she meets Samir again he tells her he is now into real estate she walks out of the exhibition and Samir tries to follow her and call her back but he walks in the wrong direction Adele walks off and the movie ends here so I hope you enjoy the video so click any video of three of them and enjoy next and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button thank you for watching see you soon.